in Home Depot once again, enjoying that smooth, easy listen music. And look what I found. It's a fitting which has exactly the right threading to go onto this. I don't know for sure if this slip end will go into the tube at home. Uh, even if it does, I don't think this is a perfect solution because I need to be able to turn this independently of the hose and it doesn't really do that. But worst case scenario, I have something that I know for a fact fits this threading. And I can look at the serial number and shit on this and find something that matches this at the hot tub store. I can bring this to the store and show it to them and say I need something like this on the end of a, a flexible hose that turns independently and they'll be able to help me. Um, it's just valuable to have an example, something tangible I can hand to them so that they can figure the rest out. It, just incidentally, it's, it's the cutest thing in the world hearing uh, the younger generation refer to music like this on YouTube as Vaporwave. Like anything that sounds remotely 90s is now Vaporwave apparently. Just get the fuck out. You're, you're too young. You're too young. Go back to the womb. I can probably DIY a solution anyway. If you throw enough money and willpower at something, anything's possible. I mean, you look at this and you see a washing machine. I see a submarine for cats because I've lost control of my life. Perhaps you want to see what's under my lab coat? It's the fucking official merch. Um, I thought I would order some of it. First, in order to make sure that what I'm selling you guys isn't crap and the quality is good. Uh, what I found is the tri-blend tea is the softest one. I have kind of sensitive skin and for some reason cotton irritates it. But the tri-blend, which has synthetic fibers in it, does not. Go figure. There's this, there's this shirt, then there's this one, and then there's these stickers, which are much larger than I expected and suitable really only for putting on your, the back of your car or something. They're enormous. The quality is really good. I'm, I'm glad that I specifically requested super high resolution files to make these with. I'd have liked to have more progress to show you. Um, I did find something that fits on this thread that's forward movement of some kind. This is going to be known in retrospect as the Tunnels Saga or the Tunnels Arc. It's a long road, but man, once we get there, we'll have a system for interlocking any number of habitats. It'll be a significant um, step. Remember when I was naive and I thought that simply connecting them with rubber bands as seals was going to be enough and I'd already solved the problem completely? It's turning out to be much more complicated than, than I thought. Um, what's slowing me down this month is I had unexpected expenses. Specifically, my phone kind of blew up. I don't mean like exploded. I mean that it runs on a lithium polymer battery, like most modern smartphones. And when those die, even if they don't catch on fire, the, batter the pouch swells. Lithium polymer batteries are, are flexible pouches, and they swell. They, they balloon up which cracked the back off my phone. It's now bulging out, and, and I can see into it. And that is going to cost about $65 to repair, which I wasn't anticipating spending. That's, that's why I tell you guys, don't trust LiPo. I don't trust LiPo. That's why I keep my LiPo batteries, the big ones, in there with the robot, which might seem heartless until you realize the robot runs off of LiPo pouch too. I love you, robot, but I don't trust your battery. I don't trust them. Even in the best case scenario, when they don't catch fire, they still swell up and sometimes emit gases when they're dying, no matter what you do. I, I really wish modern smartphone manufacturers would use replaceable batteries and would be open to the possibility of using something other than LiPo. Although, I, for all the shit I talk about LiPo, it's indispensable just because it has unique cold weather properties. LiPo will accept a charge at much lower temperatures than any other battery battery chemistry. So it has a reason to exist that makes it not really possible to replace it with any other variation on lithium battery chemistry. If you want something lithium powered that operates in below freezing temperatures, it's basically got to be LiPo. But that doesn't mean I got to take your shit not in my home. Besides needing a new battery for my phone, I also lost about a full hundred dollars off of my Patreon 
Uh, a lot of supporters bailed near the end of the month. That's always the case, but it's usually not quite this bad. I gained back about $16 of that. It went all the way down to 1200 from 1300 for a little while. Um, I'm hoping some of the people who see this will feel moved to loosen their purse strings and give to the noble, glorious cause of underwater hamsterology because I've, I've got to keep bringing in new patrons to replace the ones that, that bail on me. And having said that, I fully understand we're in kind of a tough economy now, and a lot of people are in difficult situations and don't have the benefit of internet supporters. So only give what you can afford. If you can't afford to give 20 bucks, then consider downgrading to a $10 donation instead of uh, 20 and rather than just pulling out entirely. Um, I really depend on this now. I have a couple different sources of income, but none are quite as large as this one. And having a certain uh, source of money for paying rent really helps me focus on building the habitats. Merch sales are the other weak link. This is where I first announced merch existed. This is where I posted the first video that advertised the existence of the merch. This is the next video. The next video and then... Womp, womp, womp. Merch is not really a, a substitute for the reliable, steady income from the Patreon. Really, I need to get the Patreon back up to where it was. But it is um, dearly appreciated ancillary income, and you guys get something out of it. Um, the Patreon doesn't really have much to offer backers except for those exclusive articles, which I hope you've been enjoying. Um, but you know you can also support me by buying merch, and you get a sweet ass T-shirt or sticker or poster. I have uh, three different variations of posters now, and a couple colors of one of them. So check those out, like this one for example, which comes in blue, brown, and green. This one, which is I think my favorite so far, it's, it's entitled "Make Tunnels," and this one, which I think is really cute, uh, by Demautau, one of my tw Twitter followers. So, um, I know I've been over this before, but people are still contacting me on Twitter and saying, What? You have merch? I had no idea. I don't know how they missed it. I've talked about it in like the last three videos, but it's out there. And I don't just have shirts now. I have stickers and posters as well. So, if you're into that and you want to have uh, centerpieces for discussion in your home that will lead to some really bizarre conversations, you know where to get it. Oh yeah, P.S. I'm streaming on Twitch now at twitch.tv slash hamture. So um, this is just another one of the ways in which I'm trying to make up the difference. Um, in kind of a difficult place right now, despite all the money coming in. Uh, if you guys want to watch me play video games, I, I play some underwater stuff, like underwater colonization of Minecraft. I'm going to play some Subnautica, Aquanox, Subculture... Um, but I also play a lot of indie horror. I'm really into indie horror games that, are, like the the free shit that you find on Game Jolt. I uh, go through it once every year around October. I harvest all all the shit that's new, uh, that looks reasonably well made, and I'm going to play it on my Twitch channel. And you can hear me scream like a little girl. Anyway, that's all for this time. I wish I had more to show you. Um, hopefully, my financial situ situation improves by next month. And I can make a trip to the hot tub store and ask them about fittings or hoses that will screw onto those connections on the gate valve. And hope that I'm not yet e-famous enough that anybody recognizes me while I'm there. Because if that happened, I would shit my pants. I might even shit your pants.